Do we? Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. We need a better map. I'm, I, I'm, I may actually end up just printing one out to just have with me. It, it, lo it looks like I can probably get through this way. I've just got to go through this uh, this dirt road and then make a left or right even. Yeah, it would it would be quite helpful to have. Um, a map that I can just print out and refer to rather than having to deal with this in-game one because it's not very good at all have I bollocksed it up? Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me don't tell me about it, I can't get through this way can I? There we go, there's a the road. Right. So yes, in hindsight should have gone the other way, but never mind. It's a good job I don't have to like pay for the damage for this car, I can just get a new one. Oh, there's meant to be a new guest at the hotel, isn't there? I guess we're not going to find out about that just yet. Probably breakfast. Not that I could get breakfast this morning. Okay then, Zach. Let's go back over our progress. First the victim, Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zach? It was a seed, wasn't it, I think? That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed, but traces of tears were still evident on her face. Which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and... One other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Was that the lumber mill? Jesus. Broken stiletto heel. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Combining this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and this stiletto heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zach? Yes. Am I Zach? I, I, I might actually be Zach. Oh, 
I have no idea. That's wrong, Zack. Come on. Answer again. What do we suspect Anna was holding? Why are you making me do this? Uh, a round object? Yes. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a peace mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down peace mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next, the town folk. A few are worthy of special attention. Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who's out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. I've been thinking, one of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. But it did make me feel strange, nostalgic, and sad almost. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. Right now, young lady, you need to listen to your mother. I want to hear the rest of the story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then I'll tell you the rest. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right for you. That was all incredibly weird. Oh, is this the new, the new guy that's coming? The new guest? Oh, is it Diane? I should really start spending some of that money. I have rather a lot. Oh, got an achievement. What are you doing here? 
My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. I think her name's Becky. Do your throat is quenched? You must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. That was thoroughly odd. We'll take all the things. Oh, cookie. Definitely have the cookie. Anything else to look at in here? I don't think so. Okay, the door it is. Let's go. to an even weirder place. With a vanishing door, it seems. Tell us what happened. God, he needs a shave. Zach, this case looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. I'm sure she wouldn't give us breakfast yesterday, would she? I wonder if it actually affects uh, the gameplay in any way. Uh, whether, whether you shave or not. But let's go and shave anyway. Just in case. You know, I, I, I'm thinking maybe people might react to you differently okay yeah, that's looking better do I actually need shower as well I mean will people start saying that uh I smell. Well, I can observe the shower. It doesn't look like I can go in it. Never mind. A change of clothes. A, a change of clothes, rather. We'll uh, we'll do the job. I've gone into the wrong room. Are you the door? I need different clothes. I'm, I'm I'm wondering if um if I can maybe buy different clothes. Cause I've only got like three suits. I haven't worn that one for a while. There we go. Clean shaven. New clothes. Fully slept. Let's go get some breakfast with Polly. What are you? Our oh, toolbox. Uh. What is my hunger actually looking like? I'm assuming quite a bit since I've slept. Oh no, it's still, it's still, still up at full actually. Whoa there! Did you need something? No, 
I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just, it, it surprised me, that's all. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. That's a fairly big scar. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for, oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops. Before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Uh, thank you. How kind of you. So, what brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. Uh, there's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. But, you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be, and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Zach, do you remember what the coffee said? Forrest Kaysen. F. K. This show has just begun. What did Ashley say about FK? I forget. I don't remember. I'm sure it'll all be revealed. There's Polly. Why does he say number 31? Oh, hi. You see, you don't want to give me breakfast again, do you? What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room, and so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear! Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. What? Fearless, what? What's this new stuff? Polly has a precious piece of memorabilia somewhere in the hotel. Find it and give it to her. Not to be rude, but memory deteriorates with age. You might want to check her room. Also, it's basically like a side quest. Okay, so it's telling you what chapters, uh, what chapters it can be found in, I guess. Um, God, we go all the way up to chapter 26. Right now, chapter 8 at the minute. Um, let's not worry about side quests for the time being. Oh, hi. 
Oh, we can buy another suit. It's a, it's a thousand, though. Right, let's uh, let, let's see if we can actually get breakfast because I want some. Because I couldn't I couldn't get breakfast yesterday. Ah, here we go. Breakfast looks as good as yesterday's. Yeah, we didn't get any yesterday. I've just said that. I hope you enjoy it. I will. And thank you. I just met Kaysen, actually. Ah, oh, good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sapling? As a matter of fact, he did. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no. Only to the people he feels comfortable with. He told me. He must feel really comfortable with me. He must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Mustard? Okay, I'll just get it from the kitchen then. No, mustard has nothing to do with it. I was wondering if you know of anyone that Kaysen didn't give a sapling to. Oh, too much pepper. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Zach, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? Forrest Kaysen is hiding something. You think so too, right, Zack? But no need to rush. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged. The powers of entropy. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this car. Caden did actually deliver um, that woman last night, didn't he? That woman that I'm assuming is Diane. Yeah, kick that door down. Should be getting picked up. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out, so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. A cultural activity in such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach. Okay, let's uh, let's get this art gallery. So between ten and five, uh, it's ten o'clock now, so we should be all right. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zack? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. I can't wait to meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. Okay, driving, oh god. Yes, this Diane is not popular with other women. Apparently being one of the few people in town to wear stiletto heels. The heathen. I think this is the way we go out to the uh, hotel. Oh god, is it going to be a long drive? I bet it's going to be a really, really, really long drive. An art gallery in such a small town. 
Am I prejudiced to think that it doesn't seem to fit in Greenvale? And every small town has every right to enjoy art. That's right. Small towns tend to be full of highly cultured people. Although I can't say I've ever been to the gallery myself. George, what about you? Are you into art? Actually, yes. I like going to the gallery. It's very relaxing there. Really, George? I never knew that about you for all this time. Emily, please. I'm just as cultured as everyone else. Some people just have sides to them that you'd never expect. <sighs> By the way, about Diane being at the gallery, is she the type that isn't very appreciated by other women? What do you mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Emily. Is she very attractive, especially to the opposite sex? So you're asking if she's sexy, right? Well, she does always wear high heels. And definitely, it's uh, hard to explain. Oh, but also. It doesn't make me biased, okay? She just seems to, to look down on people. She always has. I just don't like people like that. That must be because sex appeal has no effect on you. Now that's out of line. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't mean to poke fun at you. You just reacted so strongly to Diane's name. I did not. It, it's like you're suggesting I'm the total opposite of her. Is that it? Oh, Emily. That's not what anyone is suggesting. Let's just drop this conversation, okay? Did you see that guy pull out in front of me? When I was going at that kind of speed? What an arsehole. There's too many cars on the road. He isn't moving anywhere. Why are these cars not moving anywhere? I'm assuming I'm going in the right direction. Still haven't printed out that map that I said I was going to. Right, let me just check. So, Just so that I'm not going like around in circles and that. Let me check on the actual big map before I go off on some massive tangent and go in the wrong place. Okay, so that's the art gallery. Where am I now? I'm miles away. I'm all the way down there. No, 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 I passed that. Right, so I'm there. Can, can I get through on this road that I'm on now? Yes. So, that's the way to go. Right. Trouble is, with these station wagons, uh, they just consume petrol. I don't want to end up stuck out in the middle of nowhere again with no car. Just turning my siren on just for the fuck of it. The durability of the car is going down quite fast as well. Probably because I'm driving like an arsehole. There we are, we're getting close. I think it's the next turn off left, isn't it, I think? I wonder if Diane has anything to do with the murder. Diane moves on a whim and acts on impulse. We don't want her leaving town, so shut up and let's get to the gallery. In fact, I'll just keep that up. I can still see through it. That way, that way, there we go. Yay, here we are. For, for, for a small town, some of the stuff is really out of the way. Go on, get right in it. There we go. Looks more like an old mansion than an art gallery. Diane liked the building so much she turned it into an art gallery. She left the exterior untouched and had the insides redone. So she's rich. She bought this place, didn't she? Does that answer your question? Indeed it does. Well, George, Emily, I want to talk with Diane alone. Will you wait here for me? Uh, don't tell me you still don't trust us. 
No, that's not it. But this is very important. I always make sure that I meet with the important ones, one-on-one. -on -one. Otherwise, it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. But, go on then. You're not gonna listen to us anyway, are you? You're starting to understand me, George. Well then, Zack, let's go and meet Lady Diana. So we've already kind of like established that she's one of the important ones based on the single fact that she wears stilettos. That is the entirety of the evidence against her. 